What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back to more Salt and Sacrifice. So, looking at the gear, we got Class 3 Light Armor. But it doesn't have poise. That's so weird to me. I want to check through some of the gear, because that has poise. No poise. No poise. No poise. No poise. That was poise. The heavy armor. It's. I wonder if this was, like... This was intentional. Like, why does this light armor have poise and none of the other light armor does? But this defense across the board, that's that's pretty good. Like 30, 30, and then like 15, 15, 17, 17, compared to 35. Yeah, wow. So it's just kind of like very nice and balanced. Uh, great blade, circling swarm, hunting swarm. Twin daggers, glaive, bludgeons, two-hander, throwing axes. Increase attack power. That's a pretty significant little boost there. Trophy. Amulet that increases attack power. And then he's where it generates rage. Okay. Um, my current amulet is, is that, which isn't really needed. And then I think I have the yeah, item find and stamina regen. Um... Yeah, that sounds like a winner to me. And then do I go for the... I mean, it's just... It's nice, balanced defense, like, across the board. 8, 8, 4, 4, 5, 5. Or if I, if I go by rounding, we're looking at, like, 9, 9, 4, 5, 5, 5. And what were my fire gloves? I say 9, 9, 4, 5, 5, 5. Comparatively, 9, 9. Perfect. Yeah, so in general, I mean, the biggest, the big problem here is I'm losing poise. I don't know if I want to give up my poise. I like my poise. Poise is good. This is quite good. Mm. You need Void Pyre, Class 5 Scythe. Ashpire Trio. Your Ashpire Trio or your Ashpire Trio? Uh, go 25.6. Mm. Your Arcana Scale C, your Dexterity Scale D. Well, maybe I don't want the Blood Harvest Scythe. They don't really have Dex. I think I keep pumping you. Because that, the Arcana Scaling is going to help me a lot with that. You're at 27.8. You're, you're, well, it's fire poison. Does it have fun stuff? Thirsting blade, blood mark. I mean, I don't know. What else would I use void pyre on? Damn, so it's at 28.5 already. Yeah, I do want the shroud scythe. That's the, that's the invasion covenant, which is, I mean, Kinda cool. I like the idea of being Mr. Invader Man. Ooh. Three black star stones. I think that's also enough to get me to my scythe if I wanted to use that. Try it out. Uh, yes, sir. No, wait. No, I'm one short. But wait, I can unlock this. And then I think. I don't know if this is going to work or not. I think I can remove you. No, fuck me. Hang on a second. Uh. Uh, da, 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 da. I remove that. Do that. Do that. Don't care about conviction, and I'll put that point back in vitality because that's actually useful for me. There we go. It's so crazy to me that you can do that. Like after you have obtained it, you can remove prerequisites, and you 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 keep it. Like you still have that uh that bonus. So. 27.8, 28.5. Oh, but when you consider scale, I was looking at the raw. So my actual attack is 47.8, whereas this, it's only 35.7. Mmm. Mm hmm. Scaling doesn't tell you the whole picture. When you're looking at raw attack, that doesn't take scaling into calculation. But I'm going to use it for a little bit anyway, just because I'm curious. You know, I want to see what do these attacks look like? These are, these are, this is Blood Scythe. What's Blood Scythe get? Uh, let's go... Ew. 
I want to go check that final door that Bulgaran has been hiding from me. I think that door is where I get the wind stuff. And with that, with the wind and the stones, then I'm ready to I'm ready to go, baby. It's exploration time. Ooh. Red lightning. That's kind of cool. I don't need you, Windy. Get me. It's gonna make me start leveling decks just to lose use the uh Oh cool, it like enchants itself too. Oh no. Stop this. Oh god. What in the juggle shits is this? Yeah, get him, boys. Terrible to deal with. Go on and kill each other. It's kind of cool. It's like a it's a speedy like Sith lightning. 5.7. Let me see something. I feel like it gets some kind of damage buff there. Why else would it glow? Oh, Thirsting Blade. Amplify the weapon's power. Durr. Blood Mark. Conjure a pair of spectral slashes. So that just, like, interrupts them, and then it's going to increase my... So, 35. I feel like I was also hitting 35. I need to find something, something that's a little beefier I can test this on real fast. That guy's gone. Let's see. So, I need... All right. Good, cool, you hit me. Cute, all right. 29. 44, wow! Wow, 44, that's a huge buff. Wait, why is this still... Doesn't make sense. Oh man, you know what? 32... 44... So, uh, either this door is bugged, or... It may be that I need to devour one more sealed mage in this particular zone to unlock that door. So if I think about it from a progression standpoint, I thought, you know, usually I was clearing out all the mages in a zone prior, but this might be it. It might be that there's another mage that I need to find here and until I devour said mage, there's nothing else we're doing. Um, Stones at bottom left of Swamp Cave, stones at Asheville, stones by lowered left door and Bulgaran. Me go into the temple for a little bit here. I think I know where to find my mage. Oh. Can't get over there to activate it though. Well, this is, uh... Huh. I know what to do here. And I almost missed this completely. Okay, let's do this. Yep, we go. Okay, right. And then I guess I just use that to get back. We have Twin Void Pyre and Chaos Token. Ooh! Chaos Tokens is this... Oh, this looks like a mage. Tour of Asadi. There's sacred magic in the blood. Yes! Ampering with such magic as profanity. Tour of Asari is guilty of this crime. The Sanguina Mancer's heart, rich with pilfer blood, must be devoured. Listening heart. Sanguine cluster. Let's do it. The blood mage. That'll open the final door here. I like that all of these are just, they're, they're quick little areas. That's not like, you know, oh, explore the whole level upside down. 49. 
55. Yeah, so if I'm using the buff consistently, the deck scythe could be better. Could be better. Um, let's see. What do I want? Blood Nancer? Oh, let's just use this, though. Kind of edgy looking. What are you, some rip-off vampires? Sit thine ass down. And this thing, the buff lasts a while, too. I mean, it's not terrible to be like, oh, I gotta put up my buff to get in damage, but I wonder if it would get bothersome after a while. Now hey, listen, you wanna fight, man? Come help me fight the Sanguinomancer. Ow. Don't kill him, don't kill me. Yeah, that's very it seems like this, I mean, just looking at the at what it does. I think it's more of like a PvP weapon. Because that's a that's that is not a boss killer ability. It is a long ranged you know It's a long range hit stuff that's far away with a quick burst of damage ability. Which is perfect for PvP, but PvE, I'm trying to get like multi hits, you know, like my lightning. Which we are gonna swap to because it's fucking good. Keep going. Didn't I go through this already? Wasn't there like a... Yeah, I'd like, I think I had to go this way to get through. Yeah, I'd like it's a multi-jump. See that trap there? Yeah, I really said, I'm gonna go the most annoying route possible. You wanna kill me? Considering the Herbs Mage stuff didn't work out for me. It's not really holy light, but oh god, these look terrible. No, stop, stay away. I mean, I feel like this does light damage. Light. What was that green thing? Am I like almost at inventory capacity or something? Stop this. Is there an inventory capacity? I don't think so. No, there's no way. I've been really good about like throwing out stuff too. Out of here. Stop that. Oh god, they're gonna keep spawning there. And I need to wait for that if I'm gonna get up faster. I'm 
just go outside. Yeah. And once outside... Run past you, run past you, get the stones, get the rest point. Didn't work out with the corpse mancer. But the blood mancer, he's gotta have some cool robes. I just want some poise, that's all. I want some poise robes. You know, just a uh, just a little bit of poise robes, that's all. Nothing, not a big ask. Pretty simple, I think. Thank you for all the goodies. Let's fight each other. Instead of fighting me, that's excellent. I like that. Where did she go? Is this you? Nope, that's, I don't need you. Get away, holy man. Holy man is getting involved. That's less than ideal for me. Actually, I don't know. Oh god damn. Oh shit. A gargoyle thing. Pretty deadly. Actually, you know what? now that I'm thinking about it, it's probably not a gargoyle. It's probably like a higher vampire. I really hope I get some cool blood magic from this guy. Oh, I'll be dope if it actually uses your health. Back up, I see. Okay. Nope. 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 I'm gonna die here. No, I don't want to die here. Y'all could stop the... Let's stop the dodging, dude. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's, it's got to be a higher vampire. Gargoyles are usually more stationary. I mean, they, they when they come into life, they fly. But you know what I mean. Nobody sees... Our girls aren't flying around doing shit like that. Out of my way. Way. I have a blood mage to kill. Where's my shit? Uh. uh. I don't see my. Pile of salt anywhere. Oh, there it is. It's right at the door. Okay. Anyway, this guy's gonna be a little, little tricky. Okay, listen, guy. We're not, we're not doing that. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely vampires. That's a big vampire. I need to cast big old orbies. Oh wow, bro. Tier 12 fights do not mess around. I feel like you're worth good drops. I'm gonna need you to die. Angry vein and sanguine drop. Should be up. Is it back up here or is he up higher? Up even higher. Up at the tippy top. I'm coming for your ass, don't worry. Vasari, the blood drunk blade. So I know you're gonna have some kind of bleed rapier. Oh my god! No. No, 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 no. Please, no. Oh my. Jeez. Alright, this may be the first time that I have run into something that I am just not 
not equipped to fight. That was nuts. That dude was like, let me show you what my combos look like. And then all of my health just disappeared. It's easy to get back to him at least, but still. Oh my god, I did not expect that shit. be easy to get my... Do I even have good salt? Oh god, dude, even one hit does so much damage. He's kind of glass cannony, it seems. God, alliteration orb. I'll take a couple tries at him. He doesn't have very much poise, which is definitely like my potential saving grace in this encounter. I might, I might be able to kill him just based on, you know, doing more damage than he is capable of. Or doing, because, I mean, even their blocking worked pretty well. What do you block? Block, damage block 65. Yeah, let me let me go with the scythe and go for more of a combat focus here. Like actually just blocking his stuff. Hello. Oh god. Alright, so big red orb, not good. Damn. He does hit like really hard. Like way, way harder than I expected. There's no point in popping guiltless shards. I'm just dying instantly. But I'm getting lots of hay spiral doing this. Wish I could lure the Dominancer up top. Just have him join in on the fight. Yes, murder him for me! He has very overextended attacks. Oh, oh shit. I see what's happening. Okay, so I blocked it. He stomped, which kicked me up into the air, which sent me into another one of those orbs, which is what killed me. Okay. Okay. I think if I'm right on top of him, I can... Maybe. I don't know. I don't want to spend the whole... Because I, I know where he's at. He's not hard to locate. So I can always come back here if I want to fight him later. Um, I don't remember, like... I don't know. I don't remember what the other mages were. I don't think... Are they 12? That just seems very... He's very glass cannony, for sure. Because we're doing a ton of damage to him. But he also, like, oblip... Yeah, I mean, God. He, he literally hits me and it's like, and you're dead. And you're dead. And you're dead. You're dead. You're dead? You're gonna be dead again? You're dead. But at the same time, it's like, my spells are fucking him up. Just does give me an idea. It's, it's clear this guy does not have a lot of poise. Oh, come on. I don't have time for you. I might be able to beat him uh, with just like cheeky lightning strats. You know what? I think I'm playing this wrong, actually. Let me, um... So, Cheeky Lightning Strats is the play, but I'm gonna focus... I'm not gonna bother dodging at all. I'm just gonna focus on just straight blocking. So I think that's what I have to do here. I think I need to... As, as he does stuff, I need to just block it, because he's dealing too much damage for me to... Like, if I, if I miss a dodge, my health is just gone. It's erased, so. Oh, 
Oh, I'm dead here. Yep, the orb. Damn. This does make me want him even more, because now I'm like, well, you know, what, what's this armor look like? Is it good? Is his armor crazy? Is it crazy light armor? Does he have a staff that allows me to do these insane blood spells that are tearing me apart? Because if he does, I think I'm gonna want it. Or maybe he doesn't. Maybe he just has like a rapier and a pistol or something. Who knows? If I have to, though, I can always just grab my stuff and dip. That's the nice thing about this, is it seems the best best strategy here is literally just staying on top of the sky. Oh, God! Well, the block worked until he turned around and decided it was time for me to not block anymore. <laughs> His attacks are super fast too, so it's, it's hard for me to do like multiple consecutive perfect blocks. Thanks guys. I'm just ramping up my confidence here, smacking me pre-fight. I mean, this might just be one that's, that's, that's out of my scope for now. He definitely hits fucking hard, there's no doubt about that. Yeah, I didn't even... That time I was just trying to get my salt. Oh, what are we at? We're almost at 30 minutes. Jesus. We found the blood mage, at least. That's I've been ta I've been saying it for episodes now. I'm like, well, I know there's a blood mage. I gotta find the blood mage. Well, you fucking found him, all right. I does not mess around. It's not that. See, like, right there, a perfect example of why I don't want to give up this armor. Just having that little bit of poise... Like, without that, I think I would have just lost that trade right there. I would have just been smacked. It's like, it's not a ton, but it doesn't, like, it doesn't need to be. You're over there now. Can I just get my stuff? Yeah, let me just get my stuff. Damn it! Dude, that's so fast! What's really getting me here more than anything too is like you don't get um you don't have like you have been hit you have you, you know how like in, in Elden Ring and Souls games if you get absolutely blasted in the ass by something to where it's gonna knock your character on the ground you usually have like recovery frames you know they're not like like standard dodging eye frames they're like all right we just whooped your ass you're gonna be immune to damage for three seconds while you stand up I am not getting that I'm just you know I'm just getting full, full blasted. Like one hit is getting me, and then it's just a straight up juggle. Oh, please don't. Oh, no. Nope. nope. Yeah. I just need more armor for this, I think. Um, so in that case, let's let's grab our let's grab our stuff. We'll grab our salt, and uh, we're we're gonna back out for now. I think this guy is just he's a little bit out of reach for me. I would have liked to take him down. I mean, I was definitely doing better with the lightning. I don't know. I was like, do I take another try? Do I have like an offhand weapon that's a shield just to block? Our stuff and then I'll abandon the hunt. 
I think I just need... I mean, my armor is only tier 2. I could probably... I know for a fact I could go up to a higher tier armor. Even if it doesn't have poise, maybe that's, that might be the point where we're at, is I just need to suck it up and, you know, like the corpse armor. It's tier 3, it was good. Want him, but I don't think I can do this now. He's he's stomped my ass multiple times now. Let's let's not. I've already seen what happens. Well, we know the sanguine monsters here. Um, we know that he's what I need. He is what I need for the final oasis door that's locked. One heart past stone near the spawn in. So then Corvus, there's two. Um, let me look at, let me take a moment to look at armor, because I might need to farm up new armor, to be honest. That's two, that's heavy. I mean, it shouldn't be that big of a difference. Let's go for this, the class four light. That doesn't seem that good. I don't know what, what damage he's dealing to me. I'd assume he's dealing physical. I mean, the class 3 there... Like, this throws me off. Because this is... Those stats... Let me get a screenshot of these. That's only class 3. I feel like that's better than the class 4. Oh, I can already see his gear. Okay. You have class 3. So looking... Comparing them... Did you even have a staff? Let's see. It was a blade. Rapier, high blade... Do have a staff? Ugh. What does it get? Hidden glyphs. Blood blessing causes you and allies to regenerate health from dealing damage. It's interesting. Under a rapid series of spectral stabs. That's it. Kind of vanilla. Um, covers health on successful kills. That sounds cool. Uh, heal and dagger counter attack. That doesn't happen enough. Covers focus on kills. That also sounds pretty cool. Um. We're comparing some of these armors. Let me let me just look at look at some armor. So right now I have a screenshot of this. The swarming apron. 31, 7 weight. Okay. Is that my lowest tier? Okay, there it is. And that's a class three. You're also class three. The other one has more physical. It has better cold. Has better light. Has better fire. This has much better poison and dark. You're also class 3. Better physical, better cold, better light, better fire, better poison. This has better dark. It's not very good. Uh, you're class 4, and the other one has better physical, better cold, better light, better fire, better po poison is less by 0.1, better dark. So I'm looking through these... The math don't add up. For some reason, the swarming stuff's just, like, really fucking good. Like, really, really good. If I compare it to a base, one of these chests, let's see. Better physical, better coal by far. Light is slightly worse. The fire on this is much better. Better poison and better dark. So, uh, but I'm sacrificing the poise. That's the problem here. Is I'm sacking the poise. And this has all been upgraded a little bit. I wish there was a way to tell what upgrade tier I have something at. I think that little symbol, maybe? So like, three, is that like two? It's like five, maybe? Two, three, because there's three lines? I don't know. I have to like know, I have to figure out what, what number these runes all represent to know. Oh shit, man. I'm so torn. Because I'd be sacrificing my poise, but it is tier three. My carry weight's going to go down, giving me a better roll. I mean, I, on all of these pieces, the physical is showing weaker, but that's unupgraded as well. Blade with Arcana scale, flesh hunger. 
Oh, I can get meat hooks and blood flies on this bludgeon. That's cool. There's blood man stuff again. Take a look at it. Dex Arcana, Dex Arcana, Dex Arcana, Dex, Dex and Luck. Mm. All right, well, maybe we, maybe we go back to, um, I mean, I would have to, I'd have to farm up Flesh Man a good bit to get enough, uh, enough juice in the tank. The broad decoction, cool. Um, more of those. I want to see something here. So I should be able to just go back at any time and hit this and go to name mage. Yeah. Sorry. I'll need to look and see what level some of the other mages were, because he was 12, I think, and that was just too much. Um, so that gives me an idea of kind of what I'm up against, like, compared to most of these. Yeah, uh, Pyromancer at 12. Oh. Well, anyway, I'm going to take a look at some stuff. Uh, we'll wrap up right here, but I'll have more coming your way shortly, and I'll catch you all then.